Hey guys, on today's video, we're taking a look at your PS Plus account. So let's get started. So here's PS Plus. We're gonna go right into our packs and see what we get. So this is for essentials. And yes, if you guys have something else, then uh, you would get more stuff. But for essentials, for those of us who just wanna play online and need that subscription, then this is the way to do it. Anyways, let's go right into benefits. Then from here, scroll down, essentials. You're gonna see monthly games, which hopefully you already downloaded. We have exclusive discounts and blah, blah. And down here below, exclusive packs. So let's go right into our packs. We're gonna see everything that's available for us. So going to see all. And if you guys haven't downloaded these, you should download them right away. So there's a bunch of them right now that are available. There's others that, I, I mean, for me, it says purchase already, which means I already downloaded these, so I'm good to go. And there's other ones that I still need to get for my games. So let's just get started. And I'm actually gonna start off with Fortnite. And that's just because Fortnite, I want to show you how it works. Because with other games, it's going to be the exact same thing if you get an error. So I'm going to tap on download. And basically what you need to do is just make sure the games themselves are fully closed. So don't have them running in the background or anything like that. Just fully close them. And then you won't have any errors coming up with your packs and claiming them. So right now you guys can see that everything went okay. We can just go back. And as soon as they go back, it says unavailable, right? So Fortnite says unavailable, so you guys can see, it does not matter that it says unavailable. It's still gonna work. So I'm gonna show you that at the end. So later on, I'm just gonna show you how to claim those packs, even though they might say un unavailable. But they will work as long as you have your game close when you're claiming these guys. So right now, we're gonna go into this one right here, which is awesome. We're gonna download it. So here we go. It's gonna be added onto our account. Perfect, we can go back. Also, since it's unavailable, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you at the end. Let's just go right into this one. We're also going to download. Now, remember, you don't need to download the ones that you don't want. It's only if you have the game. If it makes sense to you, then go ahead and download it. Just download the ones that you want. Then go ahead and open up your game to claim everything. So we're going to go right into Rocket League, which is pretty neat. We're going to download it as well. We're going to go back and Fall Guys. Here we go. Download as well. So that has been claimed. We can go back. Fortnite, we already did that at first. Because I want to show you what happens. Just as an example, when something says unavailable, you guys still get the packs. Don't really worry about that. Uh, let's go into this one, which is awesome. And we're also going to claim this. There we go. Perfect. We can just keep going. Again, only download the ones that make sense to you. It might just be one pack for you guys. Might not be all of them. For me, I have all the games, so for me, every single thing from here makes sense. But if you guys don't have the games, then you don't have to download these packs. It actually won't even hurt to download them, even if you don't have the game, because later on, hey, once you get the game, you might want to use these packs right there. So it might be useful for you guys, so even though if you don't have the game at the moment, so that's why I suggest just downloading the ones that you may think you may want later on, just in case. It's not gonna do anything bad. So right here we have Warframe as well, so we can go ahead and download it. And here it is, it's downloading and done. Perfect. It says purchased. I mean, we do rather saying purchased than unavailable. It doesn't really make sense. It's a glitch that has been happening forever in PlayStation. But anyways, let's just go back. And we're going to take a look at everything else. So everything else says unavailable or purchased, which means I already went through it and downloaded it. All right, so right here we have everything done. And I'm going to show you exactly what I said. So let's just go all the way back. I'm going to open up Fortnite. All right, so we're just going to log into Fortnite as we always would. And then right away we should see a screen popping up with our pack. Of course, there was an update done in Fortnite already before. So the screen might not pop up right away. So here we go. We're going back in, and right away, we should just wait a little bit, and something should be popping up. Or if I scroll to, let's say, games or something, well, there we go. We got this screen. Okay, nothing's popping up just yet. We're just waiting for it, and here we go. Okay, so that's the trailer. Okay, everything's just loading back into Fortnite. It's just because we had an update. So right now, this might not even be the best example. But, technically speaking, there we go, finally. So as you guys can see, it just loads in by itself. There's nothing really that you have to do. And you can just equip it or go next. And it's going to be the same thing for all games for that matter. So again, you can equip or go next. 
And the same goes with this awesome emote. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.